FM radio is born, the first instant camera is shown off, and color TVs go on sale. It all happened this week in tech history. This week in 1873, E. Remington and Sons began manufacturing the first practical typewriter. The strong as steel, heavy black clunkers became instant fixtures in offices across the country. It would be another half century before electric typewriters made their appearance. In 1941 this week, FM radio began in the U.S. when station W47NV in Nashville, Tennessee started operations. This was the first commercial FM radio station to receive a license, some 20 years after its AM radio counterpart KDKA in Pittsburgh. After 10 years of financial losses, the station ceased operations in March of 1951. This week in 1947, Edwin Land demonstrated a nifty new gadget to the Optical Society of America in New York City. It was the first camera to take, develop, and print a picture on photo paper, in black and white, all in about a minute. He called his invention the Polaroid Land Camera. It became an instant success. In 1954 this week, the first color television sets using the NTSC standard are offered for sale to the general public. The RCA CT100 set offered a 15-inch screen and sold for a cool $1,000. In today's money, you'd be looking at over $7,500. While other sets had beaten RCA to the market slightly, it was RCA's backwards compatibility with black and white broadcasts that came to define the market. And this week in 1965, the Ranger 8 space probe crashed into the moon after a successful mission of obtaining the first close-up images of the lunar surface. These pictures were used for scientific study as well as helping to select landing sites for the Apollo program astronauts. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Hey everyone, Cameron Graveline here. Remember, call in, win stuff. Thank you. Visit us online at intotomorrow.com where you can find out how to listen to our weekly Into Tomorrow radio program and subscribe to our free podcasts. Catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.